Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Late Night Football. Today we are talking about how the Kansas City Chiefs win the 2024 NFL Draft. Let's dive straight into this thing. Seven rounds for you guys today. Seven round mock draft. I am very excited and looking forward to it. So, I'm sorry Chief fans, you don't have a great draft pick, but you have lots of Lombardis, so that's okay. Who cares about the draft when you got championship trophies? Let's get into this thing and dive straight into this for the Chiefs. So, they're 32 overall, right? The options here are pretty limited, but let's see what falls to us on the board. So let's get this thing going. I'm not even going to try to trade out. Let's just see how it falls to the Chiefs. Here we are on the board. Mitchell goes off the board right before it's 31. How evil is that? He belongs in the Kansas City Chiefs, so we're going to have to adjust here on the fly. Kansas City fans, I have reviewed the selections, and I have made my pick. And it came down to, like, these two guys, in my opinion. Tyler Guyton will lock up that tackle position for sure. We definitely need him on our roster as our needs are wide receiver, tackle, and D-line. Ladd McConkey, let's stop playing games. Let's not get a speedster. Let's not get some dude who might be a boomer bust potential. Let's just get a guy that gets open. You know what I'm saying? Ladd McConkey's that, and I know, I just know Mahomes would love this guy on his team. So... Chicken or the egg, do you go with tackle or do you go Ladd McConkey? You're not supposed to eat your ice cream before you have your vegetables. Vegetables, O-line, ice cream, wide receiver. But damn, is it fun. We're taking Ladd McConkey, getting Mahomes a wideout he can trust and have faith in. A great X wideout, man. They for sure need him. Welcome, Ladd McConkey. You are a Kansas City Chief, and you know Andy Reid's going to be loving this dude in his wide receiver core. Chief fans, we are back on the clock at 62, the very back of the second round. What do we want to do here? I think... It's staring right at us. A position of need fell to us that we deliberately ignored. We had Guyton on the board. We said, nah, I want the fun pick. I want a wide receiver. Who are we going to take here? I think it's going to be Kyron. I hope I'm saying your name right, sir. But if not, let's take a look across the board. Good edge player in Marshawn right there. Love the value in Trice. That might be the only person I'm really thinking about taking besides him. Trice or the tackle. We got to protect our quarterback. We got the GOAT, man. The soon-to-be GOAT. I'm not going to call him the GOAT quite yet, but he's certainly on the trajectory to get there. Kyron, welcome. We need you at tackle. You are a Kansas City Chief. I'll see you guys at 95 overall. Back on the clock, Kansas City. What do we want to do right here? Jones out of Florida State. Like him a lot, but I know what we need. We need D-line. Let's see what's on the board and what we could take here. Interior and edge, what do we have? Ooh, Michael Hall Jr., Dwayne Carter. And even Xavier Thomas. Thomas might be there at 131, but I like Hall a lot. I know he's just first on the board. You're all like, Katie, you're cherry picking. You're being too basic. I actually do like Hall a lot. He's too short to be a defensive end, and he's too light to be a D tackle. So what is he? Nobody knows, but he's ridiculously productive. That is the guy I want on my team. He's got plenty of finesse in his game. Michael Hall Jr., we need you on the D line, and welcome. You're going to be a chief for us. I'll see you guys at pick 131, where hopefully we have Xavier Thomas or someone else on the D line slide to us there. Here we are at the bottom of the fourth round. And we need all the help we can get. And luckily, it is here, fitting to our needs. Christian Jones, the tackle's on the clock. Justin's on the clock. He is a for sure hit. He's not going to be like superstar, but you know this guy's going to be a good player in the NFL. I like him a lot. I think we're going Jones. Do we go Jones? Do we go Justin? We already got our tackle right. I feel like we're feeling good at tackle. But you need a rotation as in multiple players of pass rushers. I want my stable of pass rushers healthy and ready to go and not tired on third down. When the game is on the line, this team is drove all the way down the field and you are in the red zone. Who's rushing the passer? Not somebody that's tired. And Justin will be ready to go. We're in the fifth round and we're just looking for value now. We've hit all of our points. We got two D linemen, a wideout, and a tackle. We're feeling great. Just take the best player available because that's what the Kansas City Chiefs do, man. We got plenty of talent on the squad. Looking across the board, Taj Washington would be very, very cool in the Kansas City Chiefs wide receiver arsenal. An ideal 4-5 in a wide receiver room and a great return, man. He's explosive. And you know Andy Reid. He's from Texas, too. You know Andy Reid would scheme this guy up so well. I might take the swing here. It's that or Zach Zinter. I know y'all y'all know I got a man crush on Zach Zinter. This guy's going to be a great guard in the NFL. He can truly do it all. Do we go Zach or do we go Taj? Let's have fun. It's a mock draft after all. Let's go Taj Washington, the man, the myth, the legend at a USC. Two picks left, and the Chiefs are back on the clock. Who are we taking here? Let's look at the value across the board. Nugent, solid. Harrell, he's good. He could do well. But Bo Braid, Bo Braid, ladies and gentlemen, strong safety. We can make something happen here. I like him a lot. Let's take him and just stack that DB room. Bo Braid, welcome. I'll see you guys at pick 221. Who are we taking, guys? Who do we like here? I'm going to be straight with you. I don't know every single one of these players, but for the ones I do, I got favoritism towards Hanson. I like Hanson. I like McMahon. Solid there. 
Wallace. I do like Wallace. Let's take Wallace. You can never have enough DBs. I'm sure Josh could be a very good special teams player. Welcome to the roster. You are a Kansas City Chief. Chief fans, this is my mock draft. Let's let's review. Let's review together. Let's go across the board. So, as we stated in the beginning, do you eat your ice cream first or have your vegetables? Instead of going O-line, I went wide receiver, baby. Lad McConkie, you know he's going to be a good wideout, man. He's going to get open for Patrick Mahomes because, dear God, you know he needs it. He's ready for it. He's been waiting for it his whole life. He's been missing Tyree Kill, and we're going to get him a receiver that's not Tyree Kill, but he's going to get open because that's what receivers got to do, right? They got to get open, catch the ball. We got to tackle. We're glad that talent slid to us from Yale. Very good, solid player there in Kyron. And then from there, guys, I just took value across the board. Like, for example, Michael Hall Jr., too short to be a DN, too small to be a D tackle, but he is insanely effective. Let's bring this guy into our roster, and we're going to make something happen with him, baby. And Justin in the fourth round, great value. We will gladly add him to our edge rushing room. And then Taj Washington, the speedster out of USC. This guy, good special teams player, good return man, and you can't forget, he'll be a good 4-5 wide receiver. You know Andy Reid will scheme plays just for him because he can flat out fly it on the field. And then we wrap this baby up with Bo Braid and Josh Wallace for some DB depth across the board. Kansas City fans, this is it. Comment what you would change below. Would you draft Lad McConkey there? Would you take High Run in the second? Would you take Michael Hall Jr.? Did you hate or did you like the Taj Washington pick? Drop it all below. You can't offend me. It's all good, guys. I'm trying to learn, trying to grow. I'm not a Chiefs fan. I'm not looking at all these mock drafts like you are. Drop your comments and thoughts below. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like because it helps me out tremendously. If you like this style of video, I'm making a mock draft for every single team in the NFL across the board. We already got like 10 out right now. If you want to see more, subscribe down below. And if you subscribed and if you liked the video and you were just a super fan, we have a brand new Patreon. Not here, but here. We got two Patreons in our all-pro tier. Thank you, Cisco. Thank you, David. They get an additional weekly video per week and access to our Q&A sessions. And then at our MVP tier, Mom is holding it down. She gets full access to our rookie draft guide. You get five draft day tips and a bonus tip. Tier-based rank Rankings for quarterback, running back, wide receiver, and tight end. And of course, a one-pager cheat sheet. So on draft day, you are marking these guys off as the draft goes by. And you're going to dominate your rookie draft for Dynasty Fantasy Football. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you more than you know. Love you guys. Have the best day. Peace. Now listen up, y'all. It is time for the 2024 NFL Draft Wide Receiver Tier List. And this is the first time I have ever had, I mean ever, had two players in my God tier. Let's get it started. Introducing my two players in my God tier. Y'all know their names. Say it with me. Marvin Harrison Jr. out of OSU and Malik Neighbors out of LSU.